using the Facebook search bar for market research. On Facebook, it is important to be aware, in the conglomerate of content and media, what people are interested in and posting about related to a certain topic. You might think it complicated to find out about the market, but with Facebook, it is less than easy. It's all just about knowing how to search. Knowing your audience. In order to do market research, you have to know a great deal about your target audience. At this point in the marketing campaign process, you should understand a great deal about your viewers and the kinds of people that they are. This is the first step in knowing where to look with your Facebook searches. Finding similar interests. Say that you are a vendor who specializes in selling office equipment. A similar interest-based search would be something along the lines of going to the search bar and typing in posts liked by people who enjoy fountain pens. There is a lot of critical thinking that goes into this process, but it is a skill that can be learned like any other. Search similar pages. There is nothing wrong with going to the Facebook of a vendor that also works in your specific niche. Competition is good for business, and making a deep search for other brands is a good way to see what they are doing. What decisions are they making? Are they good or bad decisions? And what kinds of people are the fans of the pages? Demographic Research If your fan base is broad or has a large age range, then take a swing at searching a specific age group or demographic. If over half of your audience is under the age of 18, then it is time for you to start thinking about how you can appeal more acutely to them. Keywords Knowing how to use a search engine is a large part of knowing the ins and outs of SEO or search engine optimization. What SEO means is how relevant a particular brand or piece of text is to a certain search. SEO plays a big part in the branding process because there will always be certain keywords that are more important than others. In your niche, it is important to know what words are being searched the most and creating content that will improve your SEO ranking in relation to such keywords. What are others saying? Think of it like this. Not everyone who visits your Facebook page will be convinced that they should follow you upon their first encounter. For many people, it takes a couple of visits for them to truly commit to your brand. Many people will forget your brand's name, however. When conducting market research, think about how someone would describe your brands in a couple of words if they could not remember the name. The Advantageous Page 2 When using the search engine, Sometimes, using the right combinations of keywords will not provide great results on the front page. Most users on Google or Facebook tend not to look beyond the first page provided to them, but that does not mean you shouldn't. Sometimes, what you are looking for may be on the third or fourth page down the line. It doesn't mean that these are not relevant pieces of information. Sometimes, with Facebook algorithms, certain brands or keywords get pushed behind others. Localizing your searches it is one thing to look up a general topic. While that may be a good starting tactic, you are going to want to localize your searches. Recent studies have shown that more than half of mobile searches on Facebook have a localized intention. It makes sense. If a person is looking for a new salon to get a haircut, they do not want to yield results that show salons dozens of miles away. Using keywords that include the phrase near me or in my area is one of the best and most profitable abilities that you can learn to use.